Hey everybody, this will be a quick tutorial uh, in Unreal Engine 4 how to create a physically simulated ponytail that follows a character, in this case a uh, character's head. And the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I didn't find anything useful in the internet about it. I got the ponytail working, I can get it simulated, but my big problem was that uh, once I simulated the ponytail and parented it to the head, it didn't follow the character. and I seriously couldn't figure out why, but now I did and I want to show you how because this gave me lots of headaches, so I hope you appreciate it. Now I take it you're not really a beginner in Unreal Engine or any other program, so I'll leave the basics out and just show you how to do it. So what I did is I created a simple ponytail. Uh, this is a mesh that's just skin to some bones right here. And you also need a root bone that goes to the origin of your scene. And then after that, the mesh is skinned to these joints. And that's all you need. You don't need to key anything. And once you have that, you'll export it uh, to a FBX. And this is what we'll import in Unreal. And I'm just using the third person template because it already has a character in it. So you import your ponytail import a skeletal, import a smash skeleton, yeah, and then click import. Now what you need is, let's save this first, yeah, doesn't matter. <clears throat> now what you need is, you need a physics asset. Well, let's open this up, it's our ponytail, right, and in order to have it working uh, to get the simulation working, you need a physics asset. As you can see there in yellow, physics assets none. So you right click on your skeletal mesh, create physics asset. Just let's just leave everything uh, how it is. Now we are here, and now we can see that for every bone there is a capsule collider. And now if we click simulate, it just falls down. Uh, this is not what we want. We just want the simulation to start at this bone. So what we need to do is we click the first bone. That's also the reason you need a, a bone that doesn't get simulated because this bone will follow the character and all the bones after it will be simulated. So you click the first bone, go to physics type kinematic, and it stops it from being simulated. And now you just get this. Uh, it's a bit a little bit wobbly for my taste so let's grab all these joints here linear damping let's just put some values in there that is better so let's just work with that click save <coughs> now let's click save again so now we have a character, this is just a third person character. And we need the blueprint for it, third person character. Viewport, uh, viewport, and then we want to attach the ponytail to the head. But first we need to create a socket for this head. So let's go into the character folder, go to third person skeleton, I'm sorry if I'm if I'm a bit rushing through it, but this is stuff you can you can find uh, in the internet, no problem. There's all there are lots of tutorials about that. So let's create here a socket for the head. Get ponytail socket. Now what we can do is we can add a preview asset, and let's use our long ponytail for it. And then we can already see how it is uh, placed and it's also a little bit too small to suck uh, uh, the, the mesh but we'll fix that later so let's just add that maybe around here who cares so save now we have the socket now this is just preview this won't be uh, visible in the game but we just needed this ponytail socket so let's close this now we can go into the blueprint of our character and 
We click here, add component, skeletal mesh. Now we want to add our ponytail. Let's call it long ponytail. So now we have this long ponytail and we want to drag that to the mesh because it will follow the mesh. Then we will click on the ponytail, select our skeletal mesh. This will be our long ponytail that we created. And now you will see it's down here, it's not on the socket yet. So parent socket up here, we choose our ponytail socket. And now it's all over the place. I'm not really sure why, but there are a lot of values in here that we get to that we need to get rid of. So just zero these all out and bam. It's where it should belong. Now let's stop these characters animations for a moment so we can place this a little bit better. So we'll just we'll eyeball it. A huge ponytail, huh? This should be fine. All right, now if we click simulate, wait, compile, simulate, nothing happens. Let's make a move again. So you see, it'll, it'll follow the character for now. But if we click simulate, nothing happens yet. And what we can do now is, what you need to do is you have some collision on your ponytail. This is a, important step that took me ages to figure out. So we'll just use overlap all for now. And if you click simulate, nothing happens because we're not simulating physics. Now, if we click here and simulate, you'll see it works. Now the problem is you think, well, this follows the head, right? This is all we need to do. We have simulation, it follows the head, etc. Everything should be fine in game, right? But if we save this now and go into the game and play, where's our ponytail? Ponytail is nowhere to be seen because it's clipped to the floor or is somewhere else. It, it just doesn't work. Now to demonstrate this, that this is actually really following the body, let's just uncheck simulate physics, compile again. If we hit play, you see it's there. But somehow the simulate physics thing in the blueprint editing process this uh, destroys a lot of stuff. So you want to uncheck this. This is important. Uncheck simulate physics. And but you need to have a collision set, um, else it won't work. So you hit compile. Now what we need to do is we need to basically tell in a blueprint that we want to simulate this ponytail after the first bone. But we can't do it in here. Maybe you can, I didn't find out how, but I'll tell you how I did it. So while we're in the blueprint of our character, we'll go into the event graph. So now we are here and what we need is a, well, event, say event begin play when we start the game we want to set the bones set all bodies below simulate physics and it already select a long ponytail here this is fine now what this node does is it sets all bodies below this bone that we will uh, add in here every bone after this bone will simulate physics it's basically the same what we what we did in the viewport, but for some reason it doesn't work there. We, we have to do it here. So event begin play. Once we start playing from long ponytail, we need the bow name. Now we get the bow name. Simply if we type in get bow name, also from long ponytail. Well, we don't really need this twice. Let's connect this up. Now we want to get the bow name from long ponytail and we need to get the second bone. Now it starts from zero. This is the root bone and the one after it will be the bone we want to have simulated. And we want to get the return value right here. 
and then we click new simulate and this is basically it this is how i got it working so let's see if it works let compile save and now we hit play and oh it works holy crap it's that easy guys now it took me four days to figure this this out got me a lot of headaches but i really hope this helps someone that struggles with this and you can you can also create um ponytails with dynamic hair hair of x fizz of x and stuff but yeah this is pretty great because now you can create as much ponytails as you want for your character and it will work you can create other cloths that follows your character it's easy you can change your heart the heart the hairstyle while playing the game so this is pretty great so have fun with this guys i hope this helps and see you